Hey guys and welcome back on the channel. This will be part 3 of my tutorial series on the brand new and yet to be officially released EasyDoc 2.0. This part will cover FX and the new integrations included in EasyDoc 2.0. I truly hope this tutorial will be helpful to you guys and that it will shed some light on some of the mysteries regarding EasyDoc. First of all, I will go over the new features that EasyDoc 2.0 brings to the table in terms of effects. A big novelty is that EasyDoc camera now does not uniquely act as a camera. In fact, it brings your sim aircraft to life. Indeed, we are now provided with fuselage vibrations and shake from various different factors such as gears, flaps, ailerons, turbulence, engine thrust, and so on. This does for a very immersive experience, as not only your virtual pilot's head moves now, but your entire aircraft reacts to the air it is moving through. As you are able to see right now on the screen, I am playing with the different effects that are provided to us. To adjust the amplitude of the effect, and this is not very straightforward indeed, select the box of the appropriate factor you want to modify, click on it, and drag your mouse up and down while still clicking on the left mouse button. Think of it as an invisible slider that you either move up to amplify the effect or down to diminish it. The main thing I want you to notice now is that the effects are separated in four main categories. Engine, turbulence, aircraft components and runway surface. It is by modifying the proper factors from each section that you will customize the amplitude of the effects to your liking. Notice also that for the engine, turbulence and runway surface sections, you can modify the amount of stress that is sent to the fuselage itself. Now that we went over the basic controls for the effects and did a quick overview of the different sections that are modules of your overall effect experience with an easy dock, let's look at each particular section. First, turbulence is probably the most confusing one. The way it works is that you set your desired values to the different intensity of turbulences. EasyDoc itself will deduce if you are into non, light, moderate, heavy or severe turbulence. Logically, you will want to increase the amplitude of the effect in order of the amplitude of the turbulence to get realistic results. As you are able to see on the screen right now, if you click on METAR data, you will see that EasyDoc gathers the data from nearest airfields and deduces if you're in a cloud layer and with what intensity of turbulence. If EasyDoc detects that you are indeed in a cloud layer, the cloud in the upper right hand corner of your control panel will turn green. As you can see on the screen right now, I am randomly increasing and decreasing the amplitudes of fuselage shake for the different levels of turbulence. I do not recommend setting these up too high, but definitely play around with the values until you find a suitable fit for you. Now just to give you an example of how uh, EasyDoc influences your flight, let's turn off all the effects and see what it does. As you can see right now, the fuselage shake is completely gone as well as the camera shake. The engine and aircraft component sections are pretty self-explanatory. You may play with the values to increase or decrease the fuselage and camera effects to your liking. I start with no effect at all and slowly increase each value. You are able to see how the camera shake is affected. Fuselage shake will be less prominent as all the turbulence effects are currently disabled. You should also be aware that these examples are given from an, ex an exterior point of view. Once you get into the cockpit, the dynamic head movement will also come into play, but we will cover that in a later video. You now see me playing with the different effects coming from the various components of the aircraft. Note that we are in very calm air and that turbulence effects are disabled, which is not really realistic. I am only doing this to show you the direct impact of playing with these settings. Bear in mind that during normal flight, you would want all of these settings to be turned on to get the most realistic flight experience possible. We are finally covering the surface type effects. These are also very straightforward. There are three categories of surfaces, namely rigid, bump and no passable. Three names that suffer from translation probably. I will now simulate takeoff and runway for the three different categories. 
This also serves as a warning not to go too high in the values as you are going to see right now. The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed my bend propeller. Yeah. On this final note, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial on the different effects EasyDoc 2.0 brings to the table. In the next video, we will be covering dynamic head movement and the splash effect. I truly hope this was helpful and if you have any comment or questions, please do not hesitate and post them down below. Also, make sure to subscribe if you like my content and would wish to stay up to date with what I do. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time. Bye bye.